Okay, I'm Jean Ellis Sankari. I have a pretty varied background. I'm a licensed medical independent social worker. I come from that background. And I also am a holistic health educator, a yoga teacher, a Reiki master, and much greater than that, I guess you could say. So I have quite a varied background. I've been in higher ed about 30 years. On a very personal level, I went through um, some personal issues of loss uh, years ago, which prompted me to go into saying there has to be more to life than just what are at our fingertips in terms of resources. So I particularly got into looking at Ayurveda and studying that ancient science from India and New Mexico has wonderful resources. And one day I decided to take the leap and move west or southwest. And I came here and I began working and a door opened at UNM and I walked in. I had a search for looking toward a search within myself that we have to have more in the areas of prevention and to recognize the wisdom and the resources of natural healing, how our bodies, how our minds, how our spirit cooperate in the whole healing process. So I, I like to say that that is probably what I hear more often than not is that something profound changed, maybe on a psychological level. I'm, I'm a licensed counselor, I see that. But on an energetic level, you actually sense it. And they can walk away and go to the next step in their life in a more uh, peaceful place, if you will. We have a beautiful spectrum of student. I think it requires a lot of any teacher, I say that humbly, in order to be here and teach, you have to meet people where they're at, in the experience in which they're in. And that is a spectrum. As I said before, I've had retired uh, students come to class who were architects, who had plenty of credentials, and they take an intro to healing arts. I've had students from Taos High School, 18 years old, best student category. They show up, they do their work, and they're continuing their education here. I've had students that start here and they end up becoming a faculty member here and getting their PhD. I mean, this is really incredible and I think it goes and speaks to the beauty of having faculty and students showing that concern to help a student succeed. Not to judge them and edit them out because maybe their written skills weren't so great or they're very shy but you find a way to engage them. Our average student in this program in holistic health and healing arts is probably, you know, in 35 to 40, is a mom, maybe even a single mom, Hispanic. Uh, we have retired people, as I said. We have others coming back in a regular program. They come to class and say, well, I don't know why I'm here. And then they discover that. One of my favorite students was a veteran. And we all know what veterans go through. And he showed up in the Reiki class. He is a Reiki master. He's a master energy worker today. And his story, I, I wouldn't even attempt to tell a story. It's amazing how energy and how his awareness through these types of classes has supported his work. In one word, I'm going to say it's to inspire. Um, oftentimes we have access to so much information, but frankly, even in a standard textbook, it's hard to cover a lot, you know, 35 chapters in 16 weeks. So the responsibility academically is there. You do your work, you read, you take your tests, etc. But the teacher's role and what I come back to is if I can ignite a little spark, if I can inspire someone to make the connections and want to continue in their transformation uh, as a human being in their education. And I think that is probably the essence and the role of any um, humble teacher is to inspire, not necessarily to give you all the information.